everybody, my internet name is Nitro Indigo, and today I'll be talking about Kubo and the Two Strings. I don't have enough to say about it to make a full review, but I'd still like my beautiful viewers to know that it exists. Kubo and the Two Strings tells the story of Kubo, a boy with one eye who tells stories in the village every day using his magical origami powers. Every night he must return home to his mother, or else his aunties and grandfather will come down from the Moon Kingdom and take his other eye. One day, Kubo makes a paper lantern in an attempt to communicate with his missing father. However, he stays outside for too long and his village is attacked by his aunties. His mother sends him away using her magic and tells him to find his father's armour. The best way I could describe this story is that it's like a Japanese fairy tale, even though it was made by an American company. The humour is a lot more subtle than in other kids' movies and it doesn't clash with the more serious moments at all. This is easily one of the most beautiful movies I have ever seen. Kubo and the Two Strings is stop motion, but I couldn't tell if it was CGI or not when I was watching it. I've got to give props for Laika for being able to make it all look so great. There are a lot of objects flying around, which must have been really hard to animate. If this interests you, watch it! At the time of making this video, this movie has only grossed around $40 million, while the budget was $60 million. It's still fairly recent though, it only came out two days ago in my country. I don't want what happened to my favourite movie to happen to Kubo as well.